Hi, and welcome to our show, Breaking Bread. And today, we are at St. Leo's Parish in Corona, Queens, and we're gonna check out some great places to grab a bite to eat in the neighborhood. Now, if you are a parishioner of St. Leo's, you already know that there are some pretty famous and popular restaurants in the area that seem like they've been here almost as long as the church. Some of the restaurants have been around in this neighborhood for a long, long time, but none as long as St. Leo's Parish, which was established in 1903. Both the neighborhood and this parish are full of culture and full of history. In this neighborhood, you also have 108th Street and Corona Avenue as its primary commercial streets. Surrounding the parish is a mostly residential area, and it is also a couple of blocks away from Flushing Meadow Park and Shea Stadium, the home of the Mets. Okay, so let's go check out this neighborhood. And our first stop on our little tour is Leo's Latticini, a name very similar to the church. So we're on our way. Let's go. We're in front of a neighborhood icon, Leo's Latticini. This place has been here for decades, literally, and they're known for their amazing sandwiches. So we're about to go inside and learn about what some call the best heroes in Queens and meet the family that made this place famous. Let's go. one of the owners of Leo's Latissimi. Thank you so much for having us. You're welcome. How long has your family been in this business? Well, my family's been in this business. My uh, grandmother and grandfather started this business a while ago, 80 years ago to be wow. exact. And my mom and dad continued it, and now my sisters and myself are, you know, we, we're continuing it. We are in the bakery section of your family business. Yes. Which has been here for six years, right? Uh, six or seven years. Six or seven years, but that's technically the baby of all of the family. It's relatively new, yes. Relatively new. How long has the pasta place been here? The pasta's been here about 30 years, and they they you know, they, they make all the fresh pasta there. They make ravioli, fettuccine, cavatelli. My brother-in-law and my sister make all that. Okay. And it's all fresh pasta. It's delicious. Okay. Well, my dad uh, used to make all the mozzarella, okay. and that's the fresh cheese. That's where the word latticini comes from. It's right. dairy products. And uh, he made, and in Italy, when he was a little boy, they had farms with the cows and the milk, and that's where, you know, that's how they ended up with all the cheese uh, business. Because my mom used to make all the heroes, and so that's where the name Mom is. That's sort of like our nickname, Mick Mom is of okay. Corona, because Leo's Latticini is the original name. So she started this Mama Special, which is a very popular hero. Okay. So it's a family business, and we enjoy it very much. Marie does a different special every day. Also, like, if it's like a holiday, like Ash Wednesday, or right. so, you know, any special holidays so where we can help the people, you know, accommodate, then we would. Right. So you try to follow the religious calendar as well. Yes. Uh huh. Okay, that's great. So do you guys have a lot of people coming after mass services to have a little cake, a sandwich, and so on? Uh, yes, we do. On Sunday, uh, we have well, the mass. The St. Leo's is right down the block from us, and so right. after mass, a lot of people meet up with their friends, and they, you know, they have a little coffee or espresso. Mm -hmm. The Italian mass is in the morning, 8:30, and people come after that, and then we also have the Spanish Mass, which is later on, and that's an, uh, we have a nice, you know, group of people who come and they enjoy the company and the food, you know, and the cake and coffee. Tell us about some of the heroes we'll find on your menu. We have the, the turkey and mozzarella is a very popular one, and uh, that gets the gravy. And those are, and we also have at Chase Stadium, those are two of the heroes, well, actually three of the heroes that we make. We make the special, the Mama special at the stadium, and we make the turkey and mozzarella, and a plain mozzarella hero for people who don't eat meat. Okay. And on the mozzarella hero, we put grilled vegetables, which is really nice. good. They love that. Okay. So how did you even get that opportunity at Shea Stadium? Well, we've been at Shea for years, and we've been, you know, we've always been feeding them, not only the players, we've been feeding the grounds crew. Oh. So now we were, they approached us, and we have had our little, uh, we ha on field level, we have a little deli there. So wow. it's Mamas of Corona, and we make all the heroes there, and we bring some salads also. So it's it's exciting, very exciting. So tell me what sandwich we're going to make together today again. Oh, we're going to make the Mama special today. Okay. So we'll do that today, and I'll show you how that goes. Okay, great. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> See here. And here's the Virginia ham. Okay. Tati, let's get an apron on you. <laughs> yes, that's what they like that, right? Yeah. All right, I'm here at the deli, getting ready to make a mama special. 
I got my gloves, I got my apron. Eileen is gonna teach me and put me to work. What's first, slicing? Slicing, so okay. we'll start off slicing. Okay, we're making a mama special. We have Genoa salami. Okay. And you freshly slice it yes, for every sandwich? Yes, and then we make, and then at lunchtime we have a whole pile because we have a lot of the city workers who come in and they're in a big hurry, so we have like, uh, you know, we're prepared for them. But, if, but as soon as one batch finishes, we start, we make another batch. This is our specialty, we make this here, and that's what makes our sandwiches. And you make the fresh meat yes. like yourself, right? Yes, it makes it a special, it's a different, it's a unique, different taste. And so this is the hero. And then we put condiments on it, and the condiments we have, we have peppers, they're uh, marinated peppers, mushrooms, hot peppers, whatever they would like. So we have peppers, mushrooms. Now let's spice it up a little bit. We'll put some spicy peppers too. And so that's our hero. And then we just pack it up. Now this is the, the hero. This is the mama special. Mama special, one of the most famous, yes. right? And this is the one you'll find at Shea Stadium. Right? Yes, this we, we have at Shea Stadium, and it's our signature sandwich. It's the original mama special, and my mom started this like about 40, 45 years ago. That's why it's called mama special. That's the mama special. <laughs> Here, how do you cut it? Okay. <laughs> Can't be too worked. Yeah, they put me to work here. <laughs> Actually, I'm trying to get a part-time job. <laughs> How am I doing? I'm very good. <laughs> All right, I got my mama special, and I'm gonna head over to the bakery where everybody else goes to have their lunch and break bread. Leo's Latticini is an old school sandwich shop that has people coming back on a daily basis. And who could blame them? Just look at this sandwich. So you write down their information while I break bread.